Hello, ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to the Bruce Montalvo Show, November 20th, 2019, speeding closer and closer to 2020. And on today's show, we're going to be talking about symbols, symbols, and more symbols, the esoteric translation of symbols. And who better to talk to that about than uh, with Jordan Maxwell, who is joining me here. He is uh, needs no introduction, really, professor a uh, lecturer of, of symbology, researcher, uh, author. Jordan joins me here. Hello, Jordan. Yeah, hello there, Bruce. Good to be with you. Good to have you on. Uh, I just got through watching your riveting series, The Secret Life of Symbols. H- how fun was it to film that? They were very, very nice. It was very interesting to be able to do that at Gaia. It was at Dunnett Gaia and my friend... Uh, Jay Widener was the producer at Gaia, and he got me the uh, the job to uh, to do those. And from what I gather, my series that I did on that uh, symbol series is the highest rated on the Gaia uh, on the Gaia uh, network. Yeah, I've seen it. A lot of lot of good feedback. A lot of thumbs up. Yeah, a lot of thumbs up. It was the highest rated because I did 11 different uh, videos, 11 different shows, and each one was the the one that got the least uh, likes was 93% likes was the least. That doesn't sound so bad. (laughs) Yeah, and so it was like 96, 97 likes, 98 likes, 98% likes. 97% 97% likes, and so the least I got on that whole series was 93% likes. So all of my shows were in the 90, from the mid to high 90% likes, which I thought was very incredible. I thought that was astounding that I got that kind of a response because of the shows that we were doing. I didn't think people were going to really understand them very well. But it turned out, the, you know, the people liked it. They love it. They want yeah. more of it. You're you're going to be up there competing with the, the Disney Plus app. You know, they just launched <laughs> that. No, it's just as good as anything they could put out. And you know what's crazy? All these Disney movies, the, the latest, you know, Marvel movies, they had a, a, a god that's based off of the Greek gods, uh, Tathanas, get his head cut off. I mean, that's kind of racy for a... A Disney movie. Now they're showing uh, decapitations. I think the Saudis took them over or something. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, Disney is involved in a lot of dark stuff right now. You have no idea how much dark stuff Disney is into. They're into a lot of communist subversion, Mm -hmm. Soviet communism crap that they are promoting and uh, and they're... um, Television shows. Oh yeah, the if I if I may, uh, the Iron Man symbolism, Iron Man, and they show the obvious uh, hammer and sickle and the red and yellow colors in, in one. And uh, of course, you know they're into the magic. I see them promoting Thor now, the the comic book right. of Odin, mm-hmm. Thor. They're they're just letting it all out. <clears throat> That's precisely my point. That they are heavily heavily involved in the Illuminati secret society propaganda to Mm -hmm. propagandize America's youth and prepare them for a communist world takeover. Yes. And uh, and it's incredible how overwhelming and in your face their stuff really is. It's insane, Jordan. I was I was on a plane. And I put on the the new Lion King, right? And uh, in the old Lion King, they say uh, dawn of a new uh, era, dawn of a new day. The the villain, <laughs> and then the villain goes on and he rallies up a bunch of hyenas like he's Hitler, Scar, and they have a full out Nazi scene where they're marching in unison like they're the Waffen SS. I mean, it's just yeah. unbelievable. And then there's a, an actual sex scene in the, in the Lion King. That's what I'm talking about. There's all kinds of hidden political, uh, subversive, communistic, Marxist, Leninist, mm-hmm. communistic 
and I'm in Nazi philosophy and Nazi symbolism yes. in the movies and television shows, and especially that television series a couple of years ago called V. Do you remember it? The V, the TV series V? I remember seeing the promos, yeah. The... Yeah, well, boy, that thing is jam V packed with communist uh, propaganda right out of the Lenin School of Politics. Oh, yeah. The old Lenin School of Politics in, in Soviet Union that was training all the communist aversion and, and all the communist agents to bring it to the Western world, Marxist communism. Well, boy, it's just crammed filled with it. And, yeah. Uh, and that television series that ABC did called V. Right. But, you and, know, Marvel is... Very, yes. And it was all about how extraterrestrial yeah, aliens who are coming to this, coming to the Earth to help mankind with his problems on the Earth. Yeah. And when they get here, the, the extraterrestrials uh, are, are, are roaming around the world. They're roaming around the Earth trying to get people to follow them. And they're telling the people, here's what we're going to do for you. If, if you'll just follow us, here's what we're going to do for you. We're going to help you with your government, help you with your medical. We'll help you with your, you know, with your crime and all these wonderful things we're going to do for you. And here, and then they have a pamphlet yeah. in the movie. V, the, the extraterrestrials have a pamphlet they're handing out around the world to tell the people of the world what they're going to do for for you. Yeah. And the name of the pamphlet was Dawn of a New Day. That's the name of the pamphlet, the Dawn wow. of a New Day. The extraterrestrials are handing out to the world to show the world what they're going to do for us. And the, and the pamphlet was called The Dawn of a New Day. That's in incredible. Uh, you know, Marvel, they're, they're up there. You know, they're owned by Disney. And they have, uh, they're letting people know that the wars are going to be infinite because they have a movie yep. called Infinity Wars. And again, they, they base it on a lot of the, the gods of folklore like Thor and this other, this other god that's literally the personification of death. So he gets this glove and he's able to wipe away 50% of all living things on the universe. So that, yep. like you said, that's their their mentality, and then the the alien uh, aspects of it, or the extraterrestrial, where they they the they have Nazis getting technology from the aliens, and then super soldiers like Captain America. He's a he's a Nazi super soldier. All this was once fiction, once comic books, but it's that's the kind of stuff real, I'm talking man. about. ABC, Disney, Disney is heavily, heavily involved in promotion of dark secret society, yes. occult uh, symbolism for the Communist Party, for Marxist-Leninism, uh, for, the, for the, not only the Communist Party, but for the Nazi Party. And it's just overwhelming in your face when they're making movies like The Lion King. Yes. Lion King is an astronomical uh, story based on what Adolf Hitler was, was trying to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Hitler was, was talking about the coming of the new age of the sun rising on the dawn of a new world order. And that's what, this, uh, that's what the movie was all about. Yeah was the son in the age of Leo the Lion, the Lion King, and it has to do with astrology. Uh, it's just an uh, incredible story about where Disney and ABC that bought Disney, or Disney bought ABC, but uh, what uh, Disney is really all about today oh, yeah. is, is is just extraordinary stuff. They're right in your face right. telling you what they're doing. They're promoting their Marxist communism, uh, Nazism, the world revolutionary oh. movement, all kinds of dark stuff that's in your face. I mean, right. there's no way to get around it. Oh no! When I was a kid, the the Rafiki, the the from from Lion King, there was this monkey. He's doing voodoo and summoning the dead. He's allowing the 
the the lion's uh, son, the the prince, to to speak to the old uh, king lion that was killed by his brother. It's it's based off of also the Lion King. Is, I think is based off of Set and and the, the Osiris and all the whole uh, how Set turns on, on Osiris and he kills <laughs> his brother. I mean, it's just, like you said, it's just in your face. It is. It's just amazing yes. uh, what what they're involving themselves in. And uh, I mean, I had I had a job I was offered to be in a movie at Disney. They called and wanted me to be a part wow. of a motion picture in a movie they were making. And as because it was the kind of subject I deal with, and so they wanted me in the movie. And I went out there, and I the, what I discovered was the guards, even the guards there are absolutely out of control. Everything is total Nazism. It's, it's a, all a very, very dark fascist yeah. operation Disney is. Their guards are, are scary. I mean, I, I was just amazed at the kind of mentality the guards at the Disney studio displayed. It was really kind of very scary to me. Yeah, then because, they got that Club 33. That yeah, in Club, Club 33 down at Disney. And, uh, and like I said, it's just Disney Studios has been taken over by a highly, highly subversive organization. Disney knew about them. and Disney knew what was going on. And he realized what they wanted to do was take over his studio because his studio was so popular with young people around the world. Everyone loved Disney Studios, Walt Disney. And so Disney realized that the power-hungry, Marxist power-hungry uh, you know, secret societies wanted to own Disney. They wanted to yeah. own it so that they could put their propaganda into Disney films for children. Right. And for young people, and put it in there for movies and television shows. And Disney knew that. He fought them all the way, but they finally won. They finally broke him and caused him to go broke, and then bought him out and bought Disneyland out. And now, uh, you know, now the subversive owned Disney Studios. Oh, yeah, I read, Jordan, that uh, the FBI, he was uh, collaborating with the FBI at one point. You remember Senator McCarthy yelled about the, the communists of Hollywood and everybody of said course, he was crazy. But, you know, the more the years go by, I think that senator was totally uh, smeared. And I think he was right because it was he a was total, right. total he communist was takeover. He was correct. As you say. Yep, and... Uh, and when George Lucas, which I had lunch with George Lucas out at Disneyland. Oh, wow. But when George Lucas sold Disney, the Star Wars uh, operation, the whole Star Wars project, George Lucas sold that whole project of Star Wars to Disney. Mm -hmm. And did you see what George Lucas said publicly about that deal? about when Disney bought his his Star Wars project for a lot of money. I just heard that he says he's not involved really in the new movies. It's just his studios, but he, he's uh, has got nothing to do with the new movies. But uh, but yeah, what, what did he say? He said something to the effect that I have sold my children to the slave owners. <laughs> I've sold wow. my children to the slave owners. And, I, and he was very, very unhappy with that, with that deal, selling his Star Wars uh, stories to Disney. He said, I sold my children to the slave owners. And he sold his soul to the devil. Boy, that was pretty heavy-duty comment for George Lucas to make him public about the deal with Disney. Yeah, no, I've seen uh, a lot of... Uh anger even in the the fox world because they got taken over you know fox was taken over by disney recently and they had a, a cartoon of the simpsons and bart simpson they for, disney forced him to put on the the mickey ears and he's like i won't put on the nose and then his dad homer's like boy they're paying us a lot of money you better put on that nose <laughs> you know? yeah Wow, I didn't know about that. And then he 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 t puts on the uh, the nose, but then he turns around and drops his pants and shows uh, Disney his butt. 
<laughs> Incredible. Uh, it seems boy. like Disney's just like uh, a conqueror right now, just taking everything over. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. And they're taking it over because uh, Disney is on the very front. He's on. The, they are on the very front of promoting Marxist communism. Period. Yeah. And it's a very overwhelming uh, political movement by Disney to promote Marxist communism out of Soviet Union communism. And it's overwhelming and provable in your face. And I have got all kinds of proofs on that. I've done a lot of research on the movies and what the, what's being said in the movies, quotes that are in the movies. And I think it was Disney that did a series on ants. Mm -hmm. Wasn't it Disney that did, yep. the, that, that did the, the movie that, ants? That movie, that movie group, uh, a bunch of movies on ants. Yes. Well, in there, there's a scene in one of the ant movies where the leader of the ant colony is calling everybody to war. He's calling everybody to war. Mm -hmm. And all the ants are lining up behind the leader. And he, and it shows him on a platform talking to the whole ant colony. And he said, this is the dawn of a new day for the world revolution. It's the wow. dawn of a new day. And we have to be ready, prepared for war. And and I thought to myself, my God, Jordan, you know, uh, dawn of a new day. That was a symbol that was taken directly off of the Soviet National Coat of Arms. Yes. The Soviet Coat of Arms was called the dawn of a new day with the sun rising. And there it is on the ant movies. The chief ant, the head ant, is telling the whole ant colony, we are now at the beginning of the dawn of a new day for a world revolution. And so that's what uh, Disney's doing, is preparing the whole human race for a world revolution. And the revolution is going to be for young people to revolt against their parents to revolt against the system of ethics and morals and scruples that we have exactly in the western right. civilization so disney is leading the attack on western civilization with their filthy and degenerate secret societies with their their hidden yeah. symbolism I'm just amazed uh, beyond uh, words. It's never ending. Uh, they, they even outright put a uh, pornography in in some of the the cartoons. Are like uh, like I forget the name, but it's these mice that are running around, and uh, on 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 the street there's some uh, piece of paper that's flying around, and, and it's literally porno. It's yeah. just so small to see, you know, but it's but it's there. It's hidden. And then Spielberg, yeah, he's produced a television series for for kids on kids TV on Saturday, <laughs> uh, uh, Saturday television for right. children called Peaky and the Brain. Oh my goodness, I watch and that I all was the time. Amazed when I saw that. That yeah. it's uh, produced by Steven Spielberg. Spielberg right. has produced a television series for kids television on Saturday morning called Pinky and the Brain. Oh yeah, the Pinky and the Brain, the Pinky That's and it. the Brain. One is a genius, the other's insane. That's it. And, you got it. It. and so Pinky is this crazy, goofy uh, mouse, mentally deranged little goofy mouse that's running around behind the old man and the old master rat he's a rat and he's an old master rat and so pinky and every boy every every time it comes on pinky the the stupid mouse is running behind the old man rat and and the rat's name is the brain he's the brain and pinky is the ignorant fool following <laughs> him and and pinky asked them uh asked the brain and and the tv show what are we going to do today, Brain? You're the boss. What are we going to do? And the old rat said, we're going to do what we've always done, take over the world. 
Is that, you know, and then the and then music the song comes starts, on. They yeah. talk about the sun rising yeah. on the dawn of a new day. Sure the don't. sun was rising on the new day, the new dawn, when the world would be taken over by the Soviet communist bloc, and the Soviet communism is going to take over the world. Uh -huh. And that's what the old rat says when Peaky said, what are we going to do today? He said, we're going to take over the world the way we've always done it. Yeah, and then they show this yeah. giant weapon, this uh, electromagnetic pulse giant weapon at the at the pole, at the, the very uh, pole of the Earth, and then it, it gravitates, brings all the, the consciousness or, or uh, planets, uh, you know, together, and it brings Saturn in particular just cr crashing down upon the, uh, the globe Earth. I think that is absolutely outrageous. Yo, yeah, they talk about ge their genes being spliced, and then even in some cartoons, uh, the brain, he, he's a master in uh, robotics, and he creates yep. these cyborgs, and, and he is the brain inside the cyborg that's a politician. So he's controlling a cyborg politician. He's up there making policies. <laughs> that's it. It's so that's hilarious. What I'm talking about. That's it's all what Spielberg. I'm about. It's an incredible story of where Disney Studios is at now, yeah. and the people who are behind it, financing, organizing, and directing Disney Studios to promote communist propaganda. It's what we call the WRL World Revolutionary Movement. The World Revolutionary Movement are the brains, the money, and the operators behind world communism and world Nazism. Yes. World Nazism is very powerful today. It's operating all over the earth. But most people don't know that in the Western world. They don't know that the, that the Nazis are an extremely powerful political banking order on the earth. And it's very well hidden that Nazis are running the earth from behind the scenes, and so are the communists. They are running the earth also together. They're both working together, communism and Nazism. Wow. Hitler talked about the dawning of a new day in all of his speeches. He kept talking about the sun was rising on the dawn of a new day. You go on the web and type in dawn of a new day speech by Adolf Hitler. And it's incredible. He talked about the coming sun is rising on the dawn of a new day yeah. for world Nazism. And at the same time in the Soviet Union, the communist leaders were talking about the dawn of a new day for Soviet communism, showing that they're both being financed, organized, and directed by the same secret society yeah. that is being talked about with Pinky and the Brain. Or in Star Wars, they talk about all the wars are, are just uh, bogus and they're just merely selling uh, equipment for the stars. I mean, you know, they're preparing for their their real life <laughs> space wars. So all That's the right. That's right. And that's why I think it's coming. I believe we're going to be attacked from out from outer space. I think there's going to be some kind of a invasion force. Were they going to come through the, the Milky Way, Jordan? Because that's the only way I see that, you know, given the, the ancient uh, structures of, of the Earth, or this protected uh, field that's around the Earth. I mean, there's this crack that I've researched. That's the Milky Way. I mean, I think they would come in through there. Well, I'll tell you what I think. I think where this invasionary force will come from, I think it's going to come from the planet Saturn. Yes. Because because I have heard from people at NASA who know that Saturn is inhabited, and we know that Saturn is inhabited because we got pictures of the of the uh, of the vehicles hmm. flying into the planet Saturn and their military vehicles, and so it seems as though there's some sort of a military buildup on the planet Saturn. And the reason why it's a buildup, a military buildup, is because NASA believes that there's a military buildup being built up on the planet Saturn because they're getting ready to invade the Earth. Well, and so I think they bring it's here it's, yeah. a lot of military from somewhere out in space. They're bringing it here to the planet Saturn, getting it ready for a full-scale invasion of the Earth. I think they've already invaded <coughs> through their their. <coughs> Their frequency is uh, a Saturnian frequency, and uh, 
Saturn is a consciousness that uh, definitely uh, governs what we do here. Or at one point, it was a, a a sun that was closer because you see the the ancients would would worship by having Saturn on on their on their crowns. But uh, I, I think I think the invasion's already here, Jordan. They're already here. They already control uh, uh, the human right. race from from within. Uh, more of a micro. Uh, micro macro cosmic kind of level from even from within our bodies i think parasitical level they they they're here there's just an unseen they you know they they come in through your your, your sinuses probably and get you sick they're a virus no doubt about it. what about john carpenter's movie they live that's right i think that the hollywood has known for a long time and that's what's behind the power of Hollywood is an extraterrestrial, otherworldly, demonic depravity that's operating in human society by, and using Hollywood as a front man. Right. You and, and I would be using Hollywood to promote otherworld demonic depravity. You and I would be the characters and they live that can see the symbols that are that's all right. over, you know, like right. uh, Roddy Piper's. Uh, um character and uh you know my book that deals with symbols i wouldn't have been able to write it if it weren't for you though Th- that's kind of like the they live glasses if you if you get my book i mean because i mean we've had so many great talks over the years i was able to like a, a chronology uh, of everything we've talked about and with research uh, of all these symbols that that can help you see that that occult world help you see what others don't see what people like Jordan Maxwell sees uh, what people like like myself see and it's these uh, symbols everywhere these I've ancient been occult about it symbols for sixty years yes sixty years I've been trying to tell people I lived in Los Angeles for almost sixty years. And I know that town well, and I know the writers, I know the television show producers, I know these people well, and I know what they're doing, and I know how they're doing it, and there's just nothing I can do about it but just talk about it, and hopefully people are listening to understand, watch what your children are watching. Right, it's a dark place. These propaganda. Yes, I got to ask you, Jordan, it's a dark place, Hollywood, and I got, you know, loved ones that maybe say they want to act one day, you know, they're, they're yeah. young and they're young as a, as a, you know, as one of their relatives, what do I say to them? They're like, stay away. That's the devil. <laughs> Is that the, the right thing to say? Tell them that you can talk to people who have lived in Hollywood, who know it backwards and forwards and are really well connected in Hollywood. And they tell you, Stay away from Hollywood. Absolutely. It is a very, very oh, evil yeah. place. It's a very, very scary place. Yes. We're talking about organized crime on a level that you've never even imagined possible. Wow. And you're seeing some of these people now being outed with raping so many women in Hollywood, you mm-hmm. know, and the, uh, and the uh, what's his name? Epstein. The one who had the island for prostitutes. Yeah, Jeffrey Epstein. It's Jeffrey the same. Epstein. You know that that uh, that that castle of his is the same uh, castle, the same design as the Disney castle. That's right. Interesting, and so, isn't and it? So, but they're bringing young girls and young kids down there, young boys and young kids mm-hmm. down there to be raped on the island, so they won't be bothered by any law enforcement or anybody knowing anything about it. Oh my so God. tell the young people you uh, you know want to go into Hollywood, tell them you better stay away. Well, I will. Because you better wake up and find out you're involved in organized crime with people who are buying and selling children on a market. They're buying and selling children and selling them around the world. Oh and you have no idea in the world what's going on in Hollywood. I, so it's the scariest uh, place for for a child. I mean, they literally uh, they rip the pe- a, they rip the pineal gland out of it. Definitely place for adult women. Yeah, you got to know how bad it is for a kid if adult <laughs> women are being killed and raped and plundered and and all the stuff that you're hearing coming out of Hollywood with all these women who are now popping up 
talking about all the stuff that was going on and how they were being raped and sold and bought and sold in Hollywood. Yeah. It's a, it's a horrible, horrible place. I and will you need to realize. I will be sure to let, uh, you know, the people that around me, my relatives, uh, you know, know that yeah. stay the hell away. Don't, don't you even think about being an actor? <laughs> no. No, you might want to just go into Chicago and join the mafia. Join the mob. It's the same thing, right? It's the same identical thing. It's a very frightening criminal element that's running loose. And they can do whatever they want and get away with whatever they want because they got the money to buy their way out of anything. So they can do anything to you if you're a kid or a teenager oh, there. Yeah. You, have no you are sitting duck and they can do whatever they want with you. And there's nobody going to do anything. Nobody's going to touch them because the judges will even tell you in Los Angeles there is no justice. There's just us. Oh, man. And so uh, stay away from Hollywood. Stay away from that place, Los Angeles, completely. It's a very dirty place. It's going to be a disaster zone soon. I mean, uh, you see with all the, the fires uh, that look like uh, something out of uh, end the, the War of the Worlds. <laughs> That's exactly right. And also, if you go on the web to YouTube, and look at uh, Los Angeles, how bad off Los Angeles is. There are whole half-hour shows driving around Los Angeles talking about the human sacrifices and bodies of people being found with their heads, with, uh, with, uh, you know, with human sacrifices, wow. and finding children that, with, their, with, their, you know, with their heads being cut off. All kinds of sounds dark like Mexico stuff like that going on in Hollywood. It sounds like uh, Los Angeles just, just uh, became Mexico. Decided to be Mexico. I I think so, and it is a Marxist communist state. It's just like Mexico. Oh, no my doubt God. about it. Yeah, and just keep in mind who runs Mexico if it's not the Vatican. Right. The Vatican is probably the biggest criminal syndicate on the face of the earth. And it makes all the other criminal syndicates around the world look like child's play because the Vatican has been involved with organized crime for thousands of years. Absolutely. Organized crime, the Roman Empire, Rome. And this is why the Pope is called the Holy Father because he has the, he has the ability to talk to God. He is the original Godfather. He's the Holy Father who talks to God. He is... The Godfather in Rome. That should tell you something about the Vatican. Well, he believes himself Roman higher. Empire. He believes himself to be higher than God. That's what makes him so uh, unholy. That's what makes him so holy is he's Un the Holy Father. He's the Father. <laughs> yeah. And so Jesus said that when you pray, pray to our Father who art in heaven. Not our father who runs a mafia from from uh, Rome oh, in, yeah. in the Vatican. Not e eating, our father. Eating spaghetti and, and meatballs. Uh, you got to pray yeah, to some right. fat goomba. <laughs> I don't know. That, that, so that's who God you was. You just need to tell people stay away from Los Angeles. It's a very bad place. Oh, my people goodness. who lived in Los Angeles for years are leaving. They are getting out of the city. People are leaving that city. Why? Because there's so much unemployment there's so much stupidity and yeah. ignorance and people and the gangs everywhere there are gangs gang fights gang wars on the streets there's alcoholism drug abuse police uh, and uh, police department uh, tragedies it's going the on ending everywhere. it's the it's, ending of human existence there as we know it the gods have turned their backs on all the Californians, and it is certain doom is around the corner. I mean, seismologists know the Salton Sea there is a ticking time bomb. Uh, Nine point nine and up could hit that that area, that part of the world, and totally sink it into the ground. There will be, I mean, California will be an island into, unto itself, like it used to be, and uh, yeah, and you can imagine. What's going to happen with all those millions of 37, the 38, the 40 million people living in California? It's going to be hell. And they're running out of water. Yeah. 
That's the problem. And they can't even put the fires out because they don't have the water to put the fires out. And so California is a very, very sick place, a very bad place. I think something scary is around the corner because uh, if you go by the predictive programming in movies like... uh, well, it was a demolition man with Sylvester That's right. with Sylvester Stallone. They said the the big earthquake of 2010 destroyed Los Angeles and turned it into San Andreas or something. And that's 2010. Yeah. That means that means we're uh, 10 years overdue. I mean, that movie came out in the 1999 or something. So I mean, I mean where they get their script? They might be a little off, but I, I, I'm thinking 2020 and beyond. I, I mean, they're overdue for the big one. I mean, they've been having big ones, you know, all by the 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 Northern California area. Of course, they have it. The place is on fire from top of California <laughs> to like the bottom hell. of California. The place is burning to the ground. It's an incredible story about how much has been lost. In California, and I've heard organized crime and organized syndicates are involved with the burning of California, mm-hmm. and it's being done. Auto is being done with high tech, high tech stuff. Yes, government has high tech stuff in the satellites, lasers that yes. can the lasers that can melt high rises and people. I've seen I've people. seen the crimes, Jordan. I've seen uh, deaths. I've seen them. Disintegrated. I've seen the, they on on YouTube. There was a car, and it seemed like a person tried to get out of their car. And as soon as they got, there was a little pile of dust where that person should be. Yeah, exactly. And that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. It's insane. If you're thinking about going to California, you better think again. You better run the opposite way. Run for your life. Stay out of California because everybody who lives there knows it's a Deadly, deadly, dark, dirty place. And talk about corruption in government and laws in government. The judges are all on the tape. The cops are are really off the wall. Extremely violent stuff going on in Mm -hmm. California. Stay away from that state, period. People who live there all their life and have money and are doing well are leaving California by the thousands of people are leaving continually. People are getting out of California. They know it's over. It's California's finished. It used to be a beautiful state. Yes. But now that the but now that the secret societies and the and the powers behind Hollywood have moved into California and are raping it, destroying it and burning it to the ground. It and, looks toxic. And it, it's got a bringing yeah. in gangs from all over the world my god what a horrible place there's a toxic cloud looming i mean since the 80s i mean looming it just keeps getting worse just right there sitting on los angeles in southern that's california what talking about that's right uh, that is the people that are breathing it are, are just getting sick I, radon and all sorts of stuff they breathe in it's and then now with these fires it's the air quality is some of the worst air quality on on the in the world on the earth, yes. period. Oh, God, yeah. Stay away from California, period. Yeah, we got out. We were from I got there. out. Yeah. I was there for 60 years. I had enough. I couldn't take it anymore. It oh. was horrible. <sighs> the, the, uh, if you get 40 million people in one state, thirty. Uh, the last time I heard it was 38 of the 39 million people in California and they've run out of water. Wow. Can you imagine what life life is going to be like with 40 million people with no water, no food, no work, no money, 40 million people with no food or water. My God. You don't have to be a genius to figure out that's the one place you don't want it's to gonna be. It's going to be a mass extinction, population control uh, being conducted <laughs> in California. Absolutely. That's right. No doubt about it. It's a scary place. Who man. So, I got getting goosebumps just thinking about it because, I mean, my whole family's there, you know, and they don't listen. You know, you're, the family is the worst to try to wake up. It's like the movie They Live, you know, you're, and like the scene where he's he's 
literally beating his friend up with fists and hitting him with a garbage can so they could put on the glasses and see the the symbol the symbols the the truth no doubt about it that's what hollywood is telling you some people in hollywood are good guys they're trying to tell you what's going on yeah they make movies to tell you yeah that's and one so, of them yeah it was they said it wasn't a movie roddy piper said it was a documentary so I mean, that's it was, what i it's think amazing it was. That's what I think it was. It was a documentary. They live. Go watch it if you can find it on on uh, YouTube. They live. On the online, it's definitely or, or buy it. You know, you know yeah. download and it. Buy it and get it. Yeah. It's, it's extraordinary. And then watch the television show ABC put out called V. V. And at the very end of the movie, they say the extraterrestrials are here to help us and they are putting out a track uh, an article for the people of the earth to read about what the ETs want right. to do and it says that they want to establish the dawn of a new day for the whole world right well that's the symbol on the Soviet national coat of arms of the Soviet Union that's what it says it says the dawn of a new day for the entire world Right, and I heard you mentioning the the, the Saturn the, that they're gearing up for a Saturnian invasion. Well, it, I think it's got to have something to do with the the Titan mythology of the Titans. That would be a bit surprised. They keep yeah. mentioning Titans here and in this movie, Titans there. Almost everywhere, the theme is that the monsters, or in Godzilla, was the the monsters were the Titans, and they're coming back to. Because they have to destroy humanity to start over again, and it looks like That's there's right. it looks like there's this Jesuit uh, uh, secret organization called Monarch, they're controlling the whole thing, and they're they're bringing the monsters or the Titans back, and one of them is a three headed monster, definitely taken from the Revelations in the Bible, but he's supposed to be a, a Saturnian energy. That is coming to destroy humanity by uh, you know 2020. They, they, everything is Titans from DC comics. Everything, the whole theme everywhere is monsters or Titans and monsters and Titans. <laughs> yep, and also then you'll be able to see things very clear because you'll be in 2020. Right, and that's what the eye doctors to tell you. If you got twenty twenty vision, you can't get it any better than that. So I think that ah. they're planning something for next year for us all humans to see. Yes, and it's going to be a we're going to have a twenty twenty vision. That's we're going to see all kinds of things you've never seen before. They never let you see. And they they made sure you didn't know anything about it. But maybe they're going to show us what they're really all about. What Hollywood is really doing who ABC and Disney really are right. and where the money is coming from and why are they doing what they're doing to California and to the people and what's really going to happen to America next year. Uh, next year, this time, exactly this time next year, I believe you're going to see some terrible things happening oh, in America because the Communist Party in America who used to be in charge of the Soviet Union, they are now here in America, and they are going to overthrow this country, the government of the United They're States. They're trying like hell. Yeah. Yeah. Man. I heard the and other so day I that... I would be a bit yeah. surprised if we're going to see the overthrow of the United States government. Well, just the other day, Jordan, I heard uh, that Donald, <coughs> Donald Trump was possibly poisoned. That's right. So and I mean, it doesn't surprise me because they want to kill. What's going to happen president. next? You know, it's it's insanity. You know, we talked about. Um, you, you mentioned NASA, and frankly, I, I don't really. Uh, I think they're like a bunch of fork tongue, you know, charlatans. But uh, I think that we've all we all experience NASA technology via these uh, the, the air travel. I mean, a, anybody that gets in a, in an airplane today, you're you're. Uh, 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 astronaut, you're flying in space. That's why I think people don't realize that, that how special it. You know, I mean, most of these planes. I was just uh, traveling recently. I came back from uh, your neck of the woods out there, Florida. A lot of these planes, you know, they're built by Raytheon or or Boeing, and you know, they have the Saturnian logos. Oh, right? heavens, Boeing yes. it has the Saturnian. I logo don't there. fly anywhere, boy. I stay away from planes. Oh man, and I've been invited. Two or three times I've had invites 
to go on on uh, on cruises with the big cruise oh, lines. No, no, no. Yeah. I've had the cruise lines contact me and like for me to go on a cruise because I'm doing radio. They'd like for me to promote the cruise lines, and so the best way to do that, they say, is to give me a free cruise to the Bahamas on cruise lines, and then I can advertise it and talk about how great it was. And uh, and I told them, I said, I'm a radio talk show host, but I am not about to go on a cruise anywhere in the world. I don't get on boat and take cruises. That's the one thing I don't do. Oh, man. No, no, a, a boat uh, sounds, uh, you know, just like it's going to be flopping all over the place. Uh, yeah. yeah have, it's you heard, have you heard anything about how many people go missing on cruise lines? No, young young girls, young boys, teenage girls, teenage boys, they go with their parents and they go on a cruise. But when the cruise comes back, the boys are not there; they're gone. Oh my God! Nobody knows where the girls went. Nobody knows where they went. Nobody has any idea what happened to these kids. They're gone. They they're just, not found. They don't know where they are. They have a kidnapping ring. No, this is this is the occult right here, and all these. Uh, these air travel, you know, and, and travel organizations, they're a cult. Like, I, w I wanted to say, uh, the, when I was traveling, the, the logo, American Airlines, they just changed their logo. It's the A10 logo, you know, from the Egyptian A10. Incredible. Right, right. and then the, uh, the, uh, the Israeli airline is Air L, like, like El, Air Elohim. And Elohim right. is supposed to be the, the sky god. So that's right. All the exactly. a lot of these logos and symbols. I mean, I I we cover in in the book that's coming out. You know, thanks uh, thanks to your research and mine uh, combined. Uh, a lot of these uh, uh, symbols I, I explain to the people. You know, just just what what they're what they're experiencing. You get on a flight. You just the the airline alone has a occult symbol. Of cars. Oh my goodness, cars. The logos for cars are all occult. Every yeah, Toyota, all of them, the Saturn logos everywhere. Even the and, uh, yeah, even a know, car and, company and called on the Saturn. Top, the North Pole of Saturn is the Star of David. Mm -hmm. A hexagram is on the North Pole. Go on the web and type in hexagram on Saturn, yes. or Saturnian hexagram, and there's a big Star of David hexagram on the North Pole. Of the planet Saturn. Wow. And see, the hexagram, what we call the Star of David, it was originally called, not the Star of David, the Star of David is a six point hexagram. It was called a hex, and it was referred to as the Star of Saturn. It was a Saturnian star. Right. And so if you look in the, and look in the dictionary, under Saturnian, it's Saturnian star, the star of Saturn, and it's the star of, of the star of David, the six-pointed star of David, right. is on the planet Saturn. Hex also yeah, I, is... Uh, and I think that's yeah. interesting because yes. the God of the Jews today, the Jewish people are worshiping today, all over the world, the God of the Jews today is the planet Saturn. Yeah. Saturn was, of Saturn was called El. E L, look it up in the dictionary. E L is God in Israel today. L is the name of God in Israel, and then you find out it goes back to that goes all the way back to Isis and Amun Ra in Egypt. Mm -hmm. So you got Ra R A Amun Ra, and you got Isis, which is I S. So you got I S R A and L. Israel. Israel is Isis, Ra, and El. Wow. And so it's the three names of the esoteric gods of the Middle East. Israel. Right. And then Hex, or you know, it could be uh, Heka, like the, the Heka, the, the, the god That's why the Jews the are always magic. complaining that they're being picked on, where they're wearing around their neck a Hex, 
Right. It's a six-pointed star. It's called a hexagram. Hex uh, is they, six. They are being picked on and uh, by, by the Jesuits who put that, that hexagram That's on right. them. That's right. <laughs> and, and that six-pointed star, the star of David, has zero, nothing to do with King David. Mm-hmm. If you go back into history and read in the King James Bible, in the Old Testament, look at these scriptures where it talks about uh, King James and the and uh, King David, I mean, yeah. look in the King James Bible at the scriptures that talk about King David, and then go back to the old Hebrew Bible back in the late late fifteen hundreds, the old Hebrew Bible, and read that same scripture in the original old Hebrew Bible. It doesn't say King David; it says King Druid. Wow. Not D A V I D, it's D R U I D. King Druid, not King David. Showing that Judaism is a Druidic religion. And today, yeah. uh, the reference works, encyclopedias will tell you that the Druids call themselves Hebrews. And their priesthood, the Druid priesthood in Europe, called themselves Hebrews. Yeah. They were a Hebrew a priesthood. So today what we call Hebrew is actually Druidic. And go back into the encyclopedia and look up Druids, and you'll see right. that the Druids had priesthood. And the Druids were referred to as the high priest. They were the governors, they were the politicians, the doctors, the lawyers, Anybody who had any important position in Europe was a Druid. And one of the most important mm-hmm. symbols that was used among the Druids to show for power, the most important symbol of power in the Druidic system was a magic wand, mm-hmm. like Merlin the Magician and Mickey Mouse with the magic wand. And today we have orchestra leaders who are leading the music of the orchestra with the magic wand. And magic wands were always made out of the uh, out of the wood of a holly tree. It's made out of holly wood. Mm-hmm. Then today we still have the Druids, the people who call themselves Jews, the Druids, yeah, the I, Hebrews, and they see, are yeah. running holly wood. And when you begin to see the connection between holly wood and the Druidic priesthoods. And the homosexual and the sexual perversion going on in Hollywood, yeah. it all begins to make sense when you begin to see the symbols and for the first time open your mind up to see what's really going on in Hollywood. Right. No, I see a, a lot, Jordan. Thanks to you, I, I see uh, symbols everywhere from uh, Catholic churches to to uh, even synagogues. I mean, I. I was in a no doubt about it. I was in a, everywhere. I was in a synagogue recently uh, uh, over there, and uh, I saw this this menorah that looked quite p- peculiar to me because it looked like a seven headed snake. And, well, and that's I right. did some it goes, the seven head, seven candle lamps. Then is why we have seven days of the week. Right, and that seven headed snake. I did some research. Goes back to Sumeria, and it's supposed to be like a hero. But then the snake symbolism also goes back to Apep from from Egyptian and even before that Zoroastrian, right? Apep was a, like a chaotic uh, demon snake. So yep, you're right. I, I don't know what the hell to do, whether to bow down because it's a head, seven headed snake, or, or or what? You know, is is it positive? Is it negative? It's a snake at the end of the day, and and the symbolism is is a cult it could be a pep or he could be a hero or a villain right i mean it's kind of uh, it's perplexing an incredible story yeah what could it be right. we're looking at all the stuff that's being thrown at us by professionals people yeah. who are paid large large salaries and live well mm-hmm. live in castles in hollywood who right. know what they're doing they're selling the country out they're selling the people out they're buying your children they're raping wow. and plundering and destroying your culture, and the people love it. People are so ignorant, they have no idea in the world what's really going on. 
No. And one day they're going to wake up and find out your enemies were not your enemies from out there. Your enemies were the domesticated one from inside. That's your right. enemies are living right next to you. They're selling you your motion pictures, your television shows. They're running your banks. They're, they're in control of your religion, your educational society, your military, your police department. All of this dark stuff is demonic and depraved. Yeah. And it's all falling apart now, all around the world. The whole world is waking up to see how corrupt the human race really is now. So anyway... Absolutely, Jordan. Um, let's uh, let's uh, almost wrap up here. Uh, the your research society, Jordan Maxwell Research Society. You uh, you still accepting uh, people in, into the research society? Of course. How do they of go to? Of course, it? of course. Go on my website. My website is Jordan Maxwell Show. J O R D A N. Jordan Maxwell Show. Yes. And don't forget that word show. You put, you need to put show on the end of my name, Jordan Maxwell Show, because that's my website. I don't. There are other websites out there with my name on it, but they don't belong to me. Has got nothing to do with me. There are other people using my name to make themselves to sell their products and to make themselves wealthy, but they don't belong to me. And so. If you're looking for my work, go to Jordan Maxwell's show and you will see advertised on the home page uh, a research website that you can join. Go on the research website and join my research website because that's where I'm putting all the pictures and documents and audios and videos and all the white papers and research papers and, and articles that I've been looking at for years and doing research on. It's all there on Jordan Maxwell Research website. Join it. You won't believe how much is on there. We're putting new stuff on every day. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, uh, yeah. book recommendations and free downloads. And like you said, pictures and pictures of just the amazing research that you've compiled over the years. Just, uh, I'm a member and I highly recommend it. Jordan Maxwell Research uh, society, uh, Jordan, you're going to be doing some appearances. Uh, you're, you're getting a big award in uh, Nevada. Would you like to tell my audience a little bit about that? Yep. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be speaking at a major conference, a mega conference, a big one, that's going to be in Laughlin, Nevada, which is about 50 to 60 miles south of Las Vegas on the Colorado River, about 50 miles south of Las Vegas in Nevada, is a place called Laughlin, Nevada. It's a gambling town just identical to Las Vegas, but nowhere near as large. It's just a small, little, cozy little town right on the, on the uh, Colorado River with be beautiful hotels and the casinos, and we're going to be at one of the big hotels there, and it's going to be a major UFO conference, and they're going to have speakers coming from all over the world. And it's called the 2020 UFO Mega Conference. Mega Conference. 2020 Mega Conference. And it's going to be the, sum, the, the subject matter is going to be extraterrestrials, UFOs, world conspiracy, all kinds of dark stuff that's going on in the world, and you're going to have all the, the right speakers, the teachers, the researchers, etc., and I'm going to be doing a special presentation there for that movie, for that, for that uh, mega conference. Yeah. So 2020 UFO mega conference that's in great. Laughlin, Nevada. Wow. So is. Are people expecting a, a mass uh, sighting of some sort, some type of mass event? I wouldn't be a bit surprised <laughs> I've, because you're going to have all the right people there. If you have all the right people, you never know what might happen. Right. Well, for 2020, I mean, uh, people are anticipating, like we said earlier, 20, to have 2020 vision. And I've been doing some research, and uh, there's supposed to be some type of uh, possibly a aurora-like event or some type of fog-like event. Again, I, I don't know. Maybe even the angels in, in the heavens don't know what's going to happen. But, you know, the, 
it has something to do with the the polar vortex possibly or even they could even fake a giant alien invasion the the nazis in the secret space program they have that technology look at it wouldn't surprise me nothing surprises me now with what i've seen right. with my own eyes and i know from people on the inside of government from military people on the inside of nasa my personal oh, wow. friends on the inside. Have, of the have any of those guys told you that possibly if there is this Aurora event that we'll get superpowers? Well, they have told me that there's <laughs> some very serious things getting ready to happen on yeah. the Earth. And it's going to appear that it's going to be coming from extraterrestrials. And there are ETs here. I, there's no doubt in my mind about that. What I'm saying, we Jordan. We do have yeah. extraterrestrial presence here on the earth with us right now yes well it means that, it means extra yeah. extra lands at the end of the day but they're coming from extra lands far beyond what we know on our on our plane here but what i'm saying is what if by by 2020 you and i and, every, and certain people become like superheroes because like this event changes our cosmic freaking dna you know <laughs> something wow. I, I feel like something exciting is is also Scary yet yeah. exciting, you know, looms over. And I hadn't thought about that, but there very well might be something to the fact that it's 2020. Mm -hmm. If you got 2020 vision, eye doctors will tell you you can't get any better than that 2020 vision. Yeah. Well, we're going to go into the year 2020, and we're going to be seeing things happening very soon in this world that you're not going to believe. Right. Of that, there's no doubt in my mind. I know that there's extraterrestrial life forms here because yeah. I've seen them. Yeah. So we will see what's coming. Right. So, yeah. I have research that they they possibly look uh the uh, human like like they have these uh the myth of the Nordic aliens or the mythology that they're they're humanoid. They call them the Ariani or the Arcturian again like like archons or or you know the Ark. But we could go on for, for hours. We already have. But it's just wonderful to have you on, Jordan. Thank you so much for being on the show. And we, we got to have you on as, as many well, times I as you want. It, and I appreciate always being on with you. And any time you want, just give me a call. And let's do it again. I'm always here. You, you got it. Do a show. And I'm, I'm sending you uh, a copy of, of, uh, of my upcoming book with, uh, again, you, you, you've been helping me with this book and, uh, you know, uh, let's uh, let's get it out there to the world, right? I think so, and be happy to do that. And uh, send me a copy. I want to see it, and I want to talk about it on the air when I'm doing my shows. I want to talk about the book. I, I can't so, wait to get it to you. I mean, i just give you a little tidbit of it. I mean, like uh, the, the all the auto companies, like you ever seen the Lexus, right? It's got a big L. Where, where does that come uh, uh, from, right? The L. Yep, or, I know. I saw that. Or yeah. Raytheon, Ra, Raytheon. I mean, I literally, it's like a, a dictionary. I literally go through it like a dictionary and and just tell people what what a lot of these logos mean. The occult translation of them, the esoteric translation, and yeah, that's thanks right. to you and your work that I was able to to compile that book. And we're getting that book uh, out to you, and then we'll we'll do a whole. A whole show. I've already done a bunch of uh, radio uh, promotions, uh, plugging the book. But uh, I'm just so excited that I got I get a chance to work with uh, someone like you with this with this great book that well, I'm releasing. I appreciate it. I thank you again. Like I said, if you tell me you want to do a show, just let me know. Okay. And we'll talk later. You got it. Thank you so much, Jordan, and, and stay well. Okay. We'll talk soon. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.